Syngenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. So, there's been lots of questions asked in terms of should we pre-harvest this year because we've lots of fusarium out there and Johnson keeps pushing combine early out there at 22% moisture, get the grain out so we stop the spread of fusarium. And lots of growers say, no, nope, can't do it, the, the straw is still too green, is there anything we can do to help? So it really comes down to can we pre-harvest, not if you have red clover, that's bad news, but if you don't have red clover, can we pre-harvest and can we speed that process? And the herbicide labels actually talk about 30% moisture in the grain. How do we tell if it's 30% moisture in the grain? And the other thing I think we need to look at is physiological maturity. So after physiological maturity, there shouldn't be any translocation to the grain, even if we're over 30% moisture. So let's look at both of those things. First, physiological maturity is really quite simple. So if we look at these different wheat plants, so what we're really looking for are wheat plants where the stem right at the base of the head has lost all its green color. This guy here, he's still way too green. So he's not ready. He's not physiologically mature. This stem here is just there. You can just see he's losing that color. He's not quite, but he's certainly very, very close. If we look at another head, so here's a head that absolutely, that one is physiologically mature. So when we get to the most, till virtually all the heads are at this stage, all the plants, then we should be able to go in there and do our pre-harvest glyphosate. So now what we're doing is we're gonna shell that head out that we thought was physiologically mature, and we're gonna look at that head, and we're gonna say, so is it at 30% moisture or not, based on the herbicide label recommendation? And what I wanna do now is I wanna do this imprint test. So I take my thumb, and I take the nail, and I push down into that kernel, and I try to make an imprint. And when I pull it out, we really look at, does that imprint stay? Lo and behold, that imprint, whoa, I lost him. That imprint is just staying there. So it's almost coming out. He's just at that 30% moisture stage. If I take a less mature head, so I've shelled out one of those heads that was just starting to turn green, at the, or brown rather, at the base, bleach out. Let's take some of these kernels. Let's see what happens when I do my imprint test. I take my thumbnail, I push them in there, I pull it out, and look at that. Lo and behold, that imprint is bouncing out very quickly, maybe not quite coming out all the way, but almost, and the speed with which it bounced out shows me that that head is not yet at 30% moisture, not time to pre-harvest that crop quite yet. So the only, other th the only other thing that I think I ne really need to add is when you're doing this, you really do need to go to one of the least mature areas of the field. Don't go to the most mature area of the field. We cannot get into hitting it with pre-harvest glyphosate too early. If we do that, we could end up with glyphosate residue in the grain. Don't want to go there at all. Least mature area of the field, look at the stem, do the imprint test, know whether or not it's ready to do for pre-harvest glyphosate. Mm -hmm.